Hello guys, it's been a while, uh, but now I'm back, finally. I just wanted to make a quick mention here, so some of you may have not seen the new spreadsheet. So basically, you set your percent bonus, for example, if you have the perk, if you're in war mode, if you have the perk and the war mode, uh, if you have the 15% there, which means it's, you got double perk but no war mode, and the 35 is actually perk with war mode. Simple as that. Uh, choose your bonus. You choose a start location and a sell location. Let, in this case, Margu to Defiance. This will be a wagon route, so we want to do the longest possible road. And, and also, to make a copy of this, I know a lot of people requesting access to this document, but like I, it says over here, you want to go up in the top left, you want to press on make a copy, want to make a copy of it, and then you have your own accessible spreadsheet where you can edit your own numbers all right this one will pop up it's asking about a script and after you made your own copy you just make sure you put everything as you want and you update all the prices due to the market price and you update the percentage to the location where you're going to sell simple as that so this is my level 17 almost 18 and basically i'm broke so i get many questions about how to earn money without the boat and this one haven't yet so if we bring up the spreadsheet i made made sure to check through the cheapest packs that i can actually afford to make with only like this money and as you can see, we don't have that many options. We can't even make some of these yet. Uh, what I know we can make is Brian Shank. Because this one is the cheapest pack in the game. It cost barely 4k the current prices. We don't have that much of a choice right now because we can't afford anything else. So let's start out by buying our materials that we need. So we need Shank. And I can only buy one pack at a time right now because I'm literally broke. It's actually peace everywhere, so that's even better. So the thing is, the basics, as you may know, is bring the package from A to B. The further distance, the more money. But you need to take the demand in, in perspective as well. So right now, the optimal choice would have been... Uh, would have been... We go from Margu to Defiance. This will be the most payoff, uh, I believe, in, in terms of running with Wagon. I don't run with Wagon right now because I'm broke. I can't afford another pack. I just start low. I got probably the worst possible MOA. But when it's peace everywhere, you are basically safe to run packs. The prices or the percentages fluctuating a lot, which means you don't really know if the price is going to be the same when you get to your destination. One thing you can keep in mind is that if you run from Defiance, for example, and you run to Margo, the prices totally crashes. You can actually put your package into the warehouse and store them. And then you just keep an eye on when the prices goes up and it fits your calculations all right so when we crafted our package uh, riverend was about 40 or even 50 and that showed up pretty well on the spreadsheet uh, defiance was you know 30 and would probably be the same ish uh, since it's further to defiance it will pay off more so the, the percentages can be lower. The thing is that during the time we were running, Riverend actually went down a lot and the fines actually increased. And while during the run, I'll just decide that I won't stay at Riverend because this will 
barely give any payoff at all. So instead I hope the percentages stays a bit longer and I can deliver my package to a higher price. Alright guys, we're about to reach Defiance. It took some time with this MOA. Yeah, it probably took about 8 minutes to run with a single pack with this speed. And we were actually very lucky with the percentages. It actually went up a lot. So we gain 9.8k. So as you may remember, our first calculation was with River End with 45%. And that would give us 2k. Instead, I choose Defiance. And it ended up being 62%. So it, we managed to sell it for, it was 9.8, right? So it could be in 63, yeah, probably 63%. That means we made 5.9K profit. That's not bad. That's more than double the cost of the package. So this guy is doing the way you want to do it. You want to have a better MOA. You want to upgrade your wagon because the wagon is very cheap. All right, try to have at least the free slaughter or the four slaughter. Uh, even the four slaughter, like the three plus one, is actually very cheap. So upgrade your MOA and your wagon ASAP, because that will bring you more money. And to all players that are low level, uh, you should run when it's peace time, because then no one can actually attack you. And you're running all this distance here safe and low low cost package is good because they don't require that much percentage to be profitable so even if down at 30 percent it would still be profitable now we managed to get here with 63 percent and we made 5.9k so the best case scenario would have been if i saw that yeah margo is decent then I could have, then I could have started in Defiance and go all the way back to Margu. And if the percentage would have been crashed by then, I just put them in the warehouse, wait for the percent to go up. I teleport there whenever I'm happy with the price and I sell them. Well, right now, as we started with basically nothing, we started with about 5.8, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll go to the market. I check here. I see Defiance is still decent. I'll decide. Yeah, I'll go for another. The prices haven't changed anything really. That's also stuff you need to take in mind. You should you should always stock up. Like you you want to buy if you you're thinking that all right and uh, now I have the chance to run a lot of packs. Like I can run for almost one hour is peace time. I'll stock up with, you know, at least 12 packs in case you have the bigger wagon that actually can move more. Because 12 packs is only with the four slaughter is three runs and that easy made in 30 minutes. All right. So we started with one pack. We know that defiance is still very stable, very high. And take in mind, you don't have to do brine shank. All of these packs are pretty low uh, cost packs, which means they're all very easy to get a bit of profit, even if the percentage are very low. Okay. So the reason I went with brine shank is literally because it was the only pack that I could afford. So this time I will bring my wagon, my wagon. You don't joke about this wagon, dude. Now I'm even slower. And I can tell you, on my main, I have a MOA with 570 speed and 120 strength. There's a little slight difference between those. Like I would probably be, probably be over here already, <laughs> but I'm keeping an eye on those icons so this will only be safe for another 24 minutes and yeah 24 minutes then it will go into war again and this will be riskier okay if there's one zone that is in war for example Glademeyer uh, 
not that many people, in my opinion, or in my experience, camp in Glademire. Alright? So, if Rona Woods is in war, there's a higher risk of people camping at the actual trade post. Or, in Steffiville, it's higher risk that people camping the Defiant trade post. This area, you got many different ways to walk through here, which means it's very hard to hold like a choke anywhere, really. Therefore, even if it's war in Glademire, you can take the risk. And when you're running those low cost package, you basically don't lose anything compared to if you run a high value package let's say you run a strawberry for example if you die with this package all right so you literally lost about 16k each pack which is a huge loss if i would die now i would only lose 8k with two packs so that's what i invested 8000 and the outcome will be double the money if the price stays so the finance is 47 river and 51 this doesn't mean that river is better no because this is much closer so it has to be a bigger difference and you can calculate it yourself but just you know change the the location here and you can do brine shank 51 yeah, if I sell at Riverend right now, I get almost 3k each pack. But if I s instead sell in Defiance at Defiance 45, Riverend 46. Yeah, so it's basically 900 more each pack right now. If it would have stayed at around 51, it would actually been that close that it could have been worth it. All right, and we are actually approaching the Defiant Trade Post again. We were lucky again. The prices went up to 50. We would get about 3.9k profit each pack, and this time we have two. So let's say the worst case scenario, you crafted a pack when the percentage was pretty good. You walk all the way here, and now it's shit. You got two options. Either you sell it at minimal profit forget about it and go again or you wait a couple of seconds this package is usually the one that is moving the most those sheep packs usually goes up and down very quick all right so as you can see just by a couple seconds it's increased with three percentage and it goes very fast so if someone is selling this pack somewhere else it probably boosting this one i'm not sure 100 percent sure how it works actually but what i know is that i can squeeze out as much as possible by being patient but it can also be like the other way around so if this pack goes too high people may get here and they got here on another channel and they have like a big ass wagon they insta sell five packs and the percentage will like sky rocket or more like sky fucking crash uh which means we lost potential profit so right now i i should be i want to be greedy but at the same time 59 percent is actually very nice so i think i just take that that this is based on 53 or something so yeah 9.3k so we were selling about 60 to 59 percent so we made about 5.3k on each pack that means we're up to 22k now we started at 5.8 and with absolute basic we have the first moa that is level 2 no speed bonuses whatsoever here we got the basic wagon that can only carries one pack 
if we would have gotten bigger a bigger wagon that's very cheap a better moa that's a bit faster we can make more efficient runs can be quicker bring more packs uh do more profit each run lower our run time everything like that and in the end we would have made more money by investing in very cheap stuff and that's not bad because it's all done in peace without no perks so on my main account i have moa speed wagon speed bartering one i have moa speed wagon speed and bartering two this in total will be 15 percent extra value in the long run it's a hell of a lot of money so if this helped you i appreciate if you would leave a like please comment if you liked it or if it was shit or whatever you think and subscribe if you want to see more of this content until next one have a good one